no disrespect. How old are you? Oh my god. 17. I don't think I'm under 10. Whoa. Dr. Disrespect, a well-known streamer. Um, I think he was on Twitch and he got banned and now he's on YouTube. And apparently everybody didn't really know why he got banned because it just felt like it was for no reason. But I think we know why he got banned now. Everything's coming down to the fold. So um, he's getting exposed for sexting a minor through Whisper on Twitch. Um, if you don't know what that is, it's basically like, it's like the DMs, pretty much like the DMs on Twitch. And he was texting a minor through there. Um, I think he was 35 at the time. Mind you, he had a whole wife. He had a family, I think at that time. He had a wife. And basically he had a whole tweet talking about this whole thing. I'm um, an apology slash, um, you know, I, I didn't do this or no, this is not what I wanted to do. And it's a, it's a bunch load of shit. I'm not going to lie. Um, I don't want to read this all to you. This is, this is like a bedtime story. Y'all, you're, you're going to fall asleep if I say us all to you. I'm not reading this all to you because this is probably going to be like a lullaby. You guys are going to fall asleep. So I'm going to use text to speech just to make it simple for the both of us because I'm not trying to talk too much. Hello, I'd like to make a quick statement. Let's cut the fucking bullshit. As you know, there's no filter with me. I've always been upfront and real with you guys on anything that I can be upfront about, and I'm always willing to accept responsibility, which is why I'm here now. First and foremost, I do want to apologize to everyone in my community as well as those close to me, my team, and everyone at Midnight Society Game Studio. A lot of people have been left in the dark about what happened yesterday with Midnight Society and I, and we made the painful decision collectively to have me step down. Our team is full of incredibly talented and good people that have high career ambitions and families and I'd never want jeopardize the culture we have carefully crafted. Everyone has been wanting to know why I was banned from Twitch, but for reasons outside of my control, I was not allowed to say anything for the last several years. Now that two former Twitch employees have publicly disclosed the accusations, I can now tell you my side of the story regarding the ban. Were there Twitch whisper messages with an individual minor back in 2017? The answer is yes. Were there real intentions behind these messages? The answer is absolutely not. These were casual. Mutual conversations that sometimes lean too much in the direction of being inappropriate, but nothing more. Nothing illegal happened, no pictures were shared, no crimes were committed. I never even met the individual. I went through a lengthy arbitration regarding a civil dispute with Twitch and that case was resolved by a settlement. Let me be clear, it was not a criminal case against me and no criminal charges have ever been brought against me. Now, from a moral standpoint I'll absolutely take responsibility. I should have never entertained these conversations to begin with. That's on me. That's on me as an adult, a husband and a father. It should have never happened. I get it. I'm not perfect and I'll fucking own my shit. This was stupid. Now, with all this said, don't get it fucking mistaken. I've seen all the remarks and labels being thrown around so loosely. Social media is a destruction zone. I'm no fucking predator or pedophile. Are you kidding me? Anyone that truly knows me fucking knows where I stand on those things with those types of people. Fuck that, that's a different level of disgust that I fucking hate even hearing about. Don't be labeling me as the worst of the worst with your exaggerations. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. But I think I've said what I needed to say regarding the ban itself. That's it. That's why Twitch made the decision in 2020. To my team, community, industry friends that have supported me. I apologize, I wish I could have said all this sooner. You guys have always showed me and my family love and support throughout all these years we love you guys like you can't imagine. I have the fucking best community in circle. If any of this has made you uncomfortable, I get it. You don't have to support me anymore but just know you have always been greatly appreciated. But trust me when I say this, to all my haters that live in breath social media with zero real life experience, I don't give a fuck about you. Finally, if you're uncomfortable with this entire statement and think I'm a piece of shit, that's fine. But I'm not fucking going anywhere. I'm not the same guy that made this mistake all those years ago. I'm taking an extended vacation with my family as mentioned on stream and I'm coming back with a heavy weight off my shoulders. They want me to disappear. Yeah fucking right. And I already know as soon as he comes back from vacation and puts the stream on, that stream is going to be crazy. Well, it's not going to be a lot of people for the good reasons. So everyone wants to know what you're going to say next. So that's that's going to be something, bro. I don't know when you're going to go live, but it's probably going to be probably a, a week or something from now. 
who knows throwing your life away for a minor i mean i don't want to put it like that but it's just like i kind of have to because that's that's all you have at this point those are the people you support those are the people you you take care of at you know at this point of life so it's kind of crazy to think like that like for a minor all this for a minor it's funny though the one person who i thought wasn't going to defend him defended him and just oh my gosh bro this is probably one of the this is one of the few times sneaker was kind of annoying in this situation because like what are you talking about bro let's let's look at his first tweet western culture is hilarious if someone texts a girl 17 years and 11 months old he gets jumped by the whole industry but if that same girl waits one more month to sell her body on OnlyFans, she is celebrated by that same industry for being in an independent queen clown world <sighs> I don't I don't get what he's trying I like I don't get what he's trying to prove. A minor is a minor. She's not 18. I get your point, but that is not what we're talking about. You texted a minor. Simple as that. You don't need to go into a further analysis. Just focus on the top part. You're trying to make it seem like, oh, what he's did is bad, but this this is equally as bad. Like we, we can't do that. When it comes to two bad things, you can't compare two bad things. Even if there's levels to it, they're still both bad things. At least that's how I think of it. Here's what he also said. Um, you know, defending Dr. Disrespect. Dr. Disgusting, says Valky Ray. Yuck, says Pokimane. Everyone will hate you, but as soon as that second hits midnight, then she can sign up on OnlyFans, sell her body, and then everyone's going to parade around and say, you go, queen. You're an independent girl boss. Slay. Clown world. I don't know everything about Dr. Disrespect, but... What is the, like, let's break it down. Pokimane pretty much does softcore porn for 14-year-old boys. Her audience is 95% men who are jerking off the entire stream. Oh, Pokey. Pokey. I want to poke you, Pokey. Twitch. I might get banned on Twitch by saying this, but it is what it is, bro. They run Twitch because they are turning people into simps. And simping is them. Here's another 3,000 gifted. Ding, ding. Uh, uh, jerking off all day. Most of them are teenagers. Most of them are underage. It doesn't even matter to them. Because Twitch is 13 plus. So they're okay if you're 13 years old edging to Pokemon all day. But if Dr. Disrespect text a girl who's 17 years old, 11 months, 364 days, 59 minutes and 59 seconds, He's the worst person ever! Why? Someone tell me how that makes any sense. And as soon as that second goes away, she's a prostitute, everybody cheers. Softcore porn for kids. Um, if she's actually doing that, okay, that's weird for sure. You can't fully put the blame on her. It's not like she's doing it. Maybe, you know, maybe I'm wrong. I don't watch her, I don't fucking know. I don't think she would be doing that intentionally for little kids, cause that's weird. I think the kids see it and they get horny from it and they choose to do that themselves being influenced by her but she's not influencing them if you know what i mean just because they're enticed by what she does if if you get what i'm saying she's not controlling them to do it they're doing that themselves on their own they're thinking for themselves just like how dr disrespect was thinking for himself when he texted that minor this low-key might be one of the most brain dead things you said i'm not gonna lie bro like i'm not gonna lie i get 18 is legal in most places right bro and he like 40 some right now okay and apparently he was like 35 when like this happened that's still freaking weird no matter what, that's weird as hell. Because why would you have a wife and then text a 18 year old girl? It's still weird. No matter what, they're gonna look at him weird. Like, it, I don't think that changes much, but this this draws more attention because she's a minor. But it would still be weird if it was her being 18. That's still weird as hell. Because he would still have a wife, he would still have a family to provide for. That shit would be weird as hell. Yeah, I man, I don't know. I just wanted to talk about that. Sneaker was kind of tripping. I, I, I just don't get what he was really trying to get at. Like, they're both bad things, but you're comparing a whole different scenario to this. I was just like, why did you even open your mouth to talk? Like, Loki, you should have just kept quiet, bro. But I feel like he be, he know he doing, he be doing this shit for people to like come in and talk to them. This nigga Sneeko might low-key be on some rage bait timing. So I'm not even going to entertain it too much. You got it, fam. You got it. I'm going to let the, I'm going to let the replies deal with you, bro. Cause, <laughs> but moving on. 
Um, this shit got so crazy, man. Pat God, the roast god himself. Hey, yo, sneak, yo, shut the fuck up. It's not really bad. I get to the pack of the pack of the dick of the dab and the flip of the flop of the flip 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 of the but a streamer. We're gonna play a little bit of it, bro. I don't know how. Yeah, Mr. Crocker is great. I go like, is he killing this nigga? God damn. It's Pat God, bro. If you wanna hear the whole thing, just check out his whole shit, bro. <laughs> he, he cooked him, man. It's been like 30 seconds. Golly. Just know that fans were on his ass because he is a well known streamer, well known, um, you know, public figure. He's respected around a lot of places. I don't know what he's primarily known for, but I think he plays a lot of COD and shit like that. So um, I'm guessing that's where he gets like most of his image from. But um, yeah, after he posted that whole tweet, um, people got on his ass talking about um, he edited individual minor to individual. So um, honestly, don't see the big deal in that whole thing. But I don't know. They were just trying to like nitpick like the little shit that was going on. It could have been a simple spelling error, but at the same time, I was like. Who knows? Maybe he was typing mad fast. Maybe he was doing text to speech. Who, who knows, bro? I feel like this could really be a big deal. But at the same time, though, it could just be something that we just, you know, could overlook. Because I felt like this wasn't like a big edit he made. It, You know, this is just me just saying this because I feel like this wasn't a big deal. He could have just said something wrong and wanted to word it correctly for, you know, because once you say something on the Internet and they see it and you don't change it, they're going to think you stood on it. And they're going to go into a deeper analysis thinking, oh, he probably meant this. Who knows? But yeah, you can assume um, people really didn't take this tweet lightly. Majority people wasn't really rocking with him. Um, you know, obviously him saying, hold on, I got to go to that part specifically. He said something about not having the intentions of having those type of conversations with said minor. But there was times where it got there and it's kind of like, what what do you what, like what do you mean you just said this and now you're saying that and it's kind of like okay so you know what you were doing and you took it there when your intentions wasn't like that, that doesn't make sense were there twist whisper messages with the individual minor back in 2017 the answer is yes were there real intentions behind these messages the answer is absolutely not these were casual mutual conversations that sometimes leaned too much in the direction of being inappropriate it's like, what do you mean? But nothing more, nothing illegal happened. No pictures were shared. No crimes were committed. I never even met the individual. Honestly, you didn't even have to add that. Meeting her or not, doesn't matter. Still a minor. Like that part specifically, I'm just, but this part specifically, I'm just over here like, like really the only way I think you can prove everybody right here is if you just show them, the, is if you just show them the messages. Simple as that. Because I feel like once you do that, that could debunk a whole lot of theories, a whole lot of shit people are saying about you. Um, you know, just just cut that out the way because there's no way just saying you had no intentions, yet some things got a little too carried away. Didn't know he was this much of a pug figure. So I wonder how um, most of his people are feeling. His fans, his, you know, it, it got to suck. I almost forgot, like, there was a whole, I was going through replies you know, Dr. Disrespect's tweet, and there was this email. I don't know if this is real or not, but we're going to skim through it anyway. Honestly, if I can copy and paste this, I will. I cannot. I'll probably read this whole thing while I'm editing anyway. So um, I'm going to let y'all look at this and let me know what think, man. I just honestly don't think this would just be out here, you know, in a tweet reply. This would have been like another viral tweet by the actual person who sent this, but that's just me, man. I just feel like I wouldn't find this in this area. Let me know what y'all think, man. Honestly, I, I don't really believe that's true. First, I thought that was the minor who was talking with Dr. Disrespect um, at the time. But from me reading it, I think it's like an employee, a, like a Twitch employee or whatever. Honestly, I feel like that's just fake. Honestly, don't dwell too much on it. But I don't even know how Sony could even get their hands on something like that. Let me know what y'all think about this. Um, let me know if I miss anything because I probably did. I don't really know much Dr. Disrespect lore, but I don't feel like I need to for this type of shit because, you know, obviously what he did was weird and it's looking like he's cooked so far. His channel got demonetized. He lost a lot of brand deals. He had to step down some other shit. I forgot what it was, but 
yeah, man, he's been going through some shit, and now he's on vacation, so I don't know what he's planning to do next, but we gonna see. Y'all take care, man. Love y'all.